Hello everybody, welcome to this video on how to use the snapshot tool. This is Blue Bean Man coming at you. Yes, I just figured I'd start branding myself. That's a, a good name to use. I'm gonna be called Blue Bean Man from now on and you can see uh, there is my new logo. So, all right, let's get going on how to use the snapshot tool. This tool is incredibly, incredibly awesome. And here it is. So up at the top, this is pinned to my, my task bar up here. This is the snapshot tool, hotkey G. So if you hit G on your keyboard, it'll show up. It's also under edit, snapshot, and there's a secondary snapshot tool under PDF content called snapshot content. So both of these. Now what snapshot does is once you activate it, it takes a vectored image of anything that you click and drag and encapsulate in this little, either a click, 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 or in a drag and click, or click and drag. And it could be way out here, it could be super zoomed in, doesn't matter. So basically, if you left click drag, it's gonna take a picture of anything in this box. You can right click and paste it, and there you go. So it pulls all the data off the drawing. For the most case, if it's a nice, per, nicely produced PDF floor plan, for instance, it's gonna pull a transparent background, but I have seen cases where it can pull the white background too, which is not very fun. That's kind of usually on a, on a scan type document. But in this case, that's what Snapshot does. It takes a picture of anything on the screen and there's a lot of things that you can do with this tool. One of the neat things about this is as if when you take a snapshot, it's fully vectored. So that means no matter how big or small you make the snapshot, it's still gonna print nice and clear, you know, according, don't make it too small because then you won't be able to read it if it's if you print it. But for the most part, it takes a picture. And you wanna use snapshot over something like the snipping tool. It's a lot of people I do see use the snipping tool for taking screenshots. And they'll take a screenshot like this, copy it, and they'll put it on the drawing or whatever. But what happens is, is it only takes the resolution of the computer, not the fully vectored data of the drawing. Okay, so don't ever use that tool. Always use the, snap, uh, the snapshot tool. Okay. Another thing the snapshot tool is really good for is for making, um, for replicating anything that's on this page. So I know this right here is an actual markup, but what if you wanted, what if this was actually on the page and you wanted to copy the symbol to place it elsewhere on the drawing? Well, you could click snapshot and then you could go click, click. I'm left clicking by the way, left click, left click and left click. And then you now have created your own icon. Pretty cool. Now, obviously, you know, I did as best I could. There's a couple little things that are on the on the right. You could clean it up, but I'm not going to for the sake of time. But now you go up here and you'd name what that is called, you know, W-1, and then you could start stamping this. You could add it to your My Tools toolbox, or you could just um, hold Control and click and drag and put this all over the drawing. So Snapshot's really cool for kind of hacking icons, for taking things that you wanna put on the drawing and put them in other places. Another one that's also really cool, if I copy this page and then I paste the page, on this secondary page, let's just say, let's delete all of these markups off this page here. Come on, delete. And let's delete the floor plan using our erase tool. So we'll delete the floor plan. And let's just say, for example, we wanted to take this floor plan here and paste it on this page. Well, one, you could delete all the markups and you could snapshot it on the next page, but this cool one I just talked about, this PDF content, snapshot content, this is just gonna take the content of the PDF drawing, not the markups. And you can come over to this one, right click and paste it, and there is your background. Now all you have to do is right click and flatten it, and now you are an AutoCAD hacker. No, you're, you're basically, you're able to do things like take floor plans from other pages and put them on this page. And you you know, the world's your oyster when it comes to taking pictures of things, putting them on a drawing. You can reset the scale with calibration and start marking up this new floor plan. So the snapshot tool is kind of limitless from that perspective. Another neat thing the snapshot tool can also do, and it's used every once in a while, but let's just say you had a bunch of these things on layers. Um, let's just say you want to turn all these layers off. Um, let's just say these are my layers here and I want to show someone, uh, I just want to show the finishes, um, the finish markups. I can turn that on and then I could go um, back to my thumbnails. I could right click and I could copy page to snapshot. Now that I copy the page to the snapshot, I could add a new page. I could right click and paste that page right on here. Right click again, go alignment center and then obviously that didn't work. I'm not sure why that didn't work. It should have snapshotted the whole page, but 
obviously it didn't. Let's try that one more time because normally that should work. Um, let me just, so normally that should work. I don't know why it didn't work. Let me try that one more time. Um, let's see here. Let's maybe, let's take all these icons here and I'll flatten them. I bet you everything's gonna come up. Oh, it totally did. It totally did. Um, can I still turn these off? There, I can still turn off, but it is flattened. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I have to flatten markups before I can copy a page to the snapshot. Let's see if that works. It did. Okay, so you do have to uh, flatten them first, apparently, if you have layers and stuff like that. But now I could right click and I could set my alignment and go center and document, right click again and flatten. So there's some neat things where you could create separate plans from one plan that has all these layers. You can flatten it, turn the layers you know, on and off, take a snapshot of the page, put it on another page. And now you could have this floor plan, but this one would be finishes. So just the best thing about snapshot, it's a creative tool. You could use it to take any picture of any part of the drawing and you can also use it to make icons. So see my video below on making icons. That's a prominent tool I use for making uh, icons to add them to tool chests. And hope you enjoyed this quick video on the snapshot tool. And uh, I look forward to any comments below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get notified when more videos get posted. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I will answer them quickly.